Hi, I'm Earl Bennett, professional wide receiver, and today I'll be giving pro tips about catching the football. When catching the football, a lot of people misjudge or do not look at the ball all the time. So my key emphasis is catching the ball with your eyes. The main thing when catching the ball with your eyes is you always want to look the ball in when you catch it. I know a lot of people like to catch it like this and turn fast, and that's when a lot of drops happen. You can see even in today's professional league when guys are coming forward and trying to catch the ball to make a move before they actually have the ball in their hands, they drop it a lot. And so the main key point is to always look the ball in and catch the ball with your eyes. So when catching the ball and you come out of your break and you're coming forward, you want to always extend your hands and look the ball all the way in. I tend to try and aim my nose with the point of the ball so every time I catch it, I make sure I'm catching it with my eyes and I'm always catching it with the tip point at my nose. But if I get a low ball, anytime you get a ball low, you tend to want to try to catch it like this or turn your hands this way. When I catch a low ball, I try and put both of my pinkies together so I know there's no space in between when I'm catching the ball. So when it's thrown, I always have my pinkies together and I know the ball is gonna land right there. And notice that my eyes never leave the ball when I catch it. So when I bring it in and I tuck it, I still have vision on the ball and then I can turn to make a move. Even out to the side, when I'm catching the ball to the side, I still want to look the ball in and still kind of have my nose on the point of the ball. So when I catch it, I always see it and I'm always catching the ball with my eyes. Even the over the shoulder ball, when I'm catching, I still want to put my pinkies together because I know, just like a low ball, that my hands are still together and every time I finish with my eyes on the ball, and then I bring it in. So when you're running to the when you're running a crossing route or an in route, a lot of guys tend to let the ball go past their eyes to catch it like this, or try to catch it like that and try to catch it on the run. And that's where a lot of guys drop the ball at. So you're running like this and you want to catch it like that, make sure that you have your pinkies together and you're still looking the ball in because once the ball go by your eyes, you no longer see it and you lose location of the ball. So when I'm running a crossing route and the ball's in front of me a little bit, I wanna make sure I have my pinkies together and I'm always looking the ball in when I catch it. One of the key rules is to always make sure you catch the ball first. Run after the catch is what you do as an athlete. You know you can run and make moves and do that, but you can't go anywhere first without catching the ball. So the main thing is to always look the ball in, make sure you sit when you catch it, and try to put your nose on the tip of the ball if it's closer in your area, unless it's an over-the-shoulder ball where you want to tend and put your pinkies together and try to make a catch. But key thing is, always look the ball in. I'm Earl Bennett, and those are your pro tips on catching. <laughs>